During this video, I'm going to show you how you can better manage SharePoint events with just three web parts from Bamboo. First, a little bit of background. Um, you can see here um, a home page of a portal that I've built in my SharePoint 2013 on-premises environment. Uh, on the home page of the top level site, I have a view of my corporate calendar. Uh, this corporate calendar list exists on the top side of my site collection, but it's showing some overlays from lists that exist in other places. So, for example, the things that show up in purple are events from uh, our marketing site. Um, as I hover, let me just refresh, as I hover over the page, you'll see that uh, as I hover over that purple event, uh, it's coming from a list called marketing events. Uh, the green events are don't show a list name, so they're coming from the main list called corporate calendar. Labor Day is coming from a list called corporate holidays. Uh, this is all configured. If I click on the calendar, I can go to the calendar ribbon and look at calendar overlays. So right now I have uh, two lists overlaid on my main calendar view. I can have up to 10 uh, different calendars displayed this way if I want to. And as I configure each one, I pick the color that I use to display the events. Um, this is a, a nice way to look at things. Um, you see the hover over ability. I can go and click on uh, this SharePoint Saturday event. It takes me to the original location of that event on the marketing site. Here I can see more information about the event like description and category. They weren't shown on the pop-up uh, when I hovered over the event. Um, close that form and I end up on the events uh, view, the, the main view of the events list on the marketing site. So um, luckily I have a link to go back to Portal Home back to this calendar. Um, another thing about uh, managing events in SharePoint, I could uh, set up alerts. So again, I'm going to click on this calendar so the ribbon appears and uh, you'll see that I can set up an alert on this list. This is for just the green items. I would have to set up alerts on the marketing list and also the holiday list also. Um, but remember, SharePoint alerts are triggered when data is created, modified, or deleted. So we'll get alerts when items are created, but I won't necessarily get reminders that some events are coming up, like I do with events in Outlook. So uh, this is um, th these are the tools that you have in SharePoint out of the box to help you manage events, calendar overlays, and alerts. Um, I'm going to show you an alternative, though. I have um, a page I created. I call it the Knowledge Hub. And on uh, my Knowledge Hub page, I have another calendar display. Uh, this display is using the Calendar Plus web part. And immediately, you'll probably notice that there's a legend. Um, and the color coding is a little bit different. Some of these things that were showing up in green, payday and lunch and learn, are showing up in two different colors. That's because the color coding on this display is based on the category of the event, not the <coughs> location of the event itself. Also, Labor Day shows up as a colored cell, not an event, uh, because it's a holiday. It's not really an event. Um, and these are all features of the Calendar Plus web part. One other thing I should point out is when I hover over an event, the pop-up has a lot more information than it did in the out-of-the-box display. Not only uh, the title and the location and the start and end, but I can see other things. And uh, so this pop-up is configurable. So you decide what columns from the list that you're displaying do you want to display on this pop-up? And you also configure what order they show up and things like that. So this uh, display is a little bit easier to use because I can see more when I hover and that will save me from clicking and waiting for a page to load. 
Uh, however, if I wanted to click, I could. These uh, event names are clickable. And so here we are on the marketing site. So I can see uh, the form and potentially more information about that event uh, if I wanted to. Closing the form will bring me back to the uh, Knowledge Hub, though. So I don't have to keep uh, wondering where I am. Uh, it will take me back to where I came from. Uh, so this Calendar Plus web part is uh, just another way to display events lists. Um, but it doesn't use the overlay concept of SharePoint uh, out of the box. Uh, these events, as we notice, they're coming from different lists. But the way they're doing that is this Calendar Plus web part is displaying the contents of a list rollup. A list rollup is the second Bamboo web part that I want to talk about. Uh, that you can use to better manage your SharePoint events. I've created a uh, list rollup that automatically discovers events lists in this portal. And um, so what that means is that if, uh, let's go back up to Portal Home and go to the marketing site, uh, let's say the marketing site adds a new events list. So I'm going to go add an app, click on calendar. I'm going to call it um, special marketing events, this new calendar. And on that new calendar, I'm going to create a new event. So here we are. I'm going to we'll create it on the 16th. And we'll call it um, Special Marketing Gala. We'll say it was in Washington, D.C. And we'll say it was 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. And we'll say this is the description. Um, I'm going to choose category of celebration and uh, save that new event. Now, if I were using um, calendar overlays, if I go back to Portal Home, of course that new event is not going to show up because uh, my overlays are going to the original marketing events list and not that new one. So in order for it to show up here, somebody needs to modify this corporate calendar and add another overlay. But let's click back to the Knowledge Hub. And because uh, that calendar is displaying the contents of a list rollup that auto-discovers new content, our gala event shows up here automatically. And uh, you'll see, because it's a category celebration, it's a different color. So now our legend includes that new color because uh, there's an event of that category displayed. So um, using the list rollup and its ability to auto-discover new things, this calendar becomes maintenance-free. Uh, once I set it up for the first time, it's automatically going to show new things as they're created. Nobody has to go in and add a new overlay. You may be concerned about uh, then potentially it finding things and displaying things that it shouldn't. Well, uh, you shouldn't worry about that because bamboo list rollups are security trimmed. So if I had set uh, special permissions on that new uh, events list that I just created. Um, only people that have access to those events will see them. So list rollups are security trimmed. So when I'm logged in as Julie, this is what I see. But if I log in as a different user, the display may look a little bit different because users can only see what they would be able to browse to manually. So if you don't have access to a certain events list or an event in a list, you're not going to see it on this corporate calendar. So we've uh, used two Bamboo web parts so far, the Calendar Plus to display this uh, color-coded uh, 
display with the holiday and the nicely configured pop-ups. And we're displaying uh, content from a list roll-up. The list roll-up auto discovers new content and also security trims. The third web part I want to talk about is our Alert Plus web part. Because when you're trying to manage events, it's important to be able to send reminder notifications to users in your organization. So with our Alert Plus web part, I'm able to send those reminders. And I have one configured that I send weekly to people who access this portal to let them know what's coming up this week. Because in, in SharePoint, it's, it's easy to put things on a page and hope that people come and take a look at it. But uh, reality is, is that people forget to come into SharePoint and look at those things. So with our Alert Plus, you're able to push things out of SharePoint to remind people of, of what's happening, just in case they don't log in. So this uh, specific alert, um, I call it Weekly Reminder of Upcoming Corporate Events. It's pointing at a list rollup defined on the current site. That rollup is called All Events in the Site Collection. It happens to be the same rollup I was displaying in the Calendar Plus. Uh, for the configuration, I'm looking for events that exist and meet certain criteria, which we'll talk about in a second. First, uh, you can see that uh, this event is processed every week. Uh, so that's a process that happens on Mondays at 12 a.m. Uh, so only once a week. So that has something to do with uh, my camel qu query, which is uh, filtering that roll up so that I only find things. Let me put in some carriage returns so they're easier to look at. So we're looking for things where the start date of the event is greater than or equal to today minus one. So that's uh, Monday. Remember, it's processed on a Monday. So today minus one is Sunday of that week. So things that start on or after Sunday and things that end uh, less than or equal to today plus 5. So Monday plus 5 is Saturday, so those are things that um, end uh, on less than or equal to uh, a date of Saturday. Uh, the recipients, I send it to all of uh, my users. So let's skip over to the mail format. You'll see that uh, this is another great feature of our Alert Plus is not only can you send email reminders, but you can very specifically configure the message of the email. So here I say that this is a reminder. These corporate events are planned for this week. Um, I put a header in the message that said these, these events are planned for this week. Beneath, I include the title, the start time, the end time, the category, the description, and the location of the event that meets the criteria that we set on the event tab. And then I put a, a line to separate the different events because uh, this message, uh, some weeks maybe it will show one event, some weeks it might show five events. If there are no events for a certain week, the, the email won't be sent at all because there would be no events that meet the criteria. So again, the event criteria is looking for events that start on Sunday, on or after Sunday, and end on or before Saturday. So, and, and uh, this event is processed just once a week on Mondays. So today is Monday. Let me take a look at my inbox. I'll show you what the email looked like. This one is the one that I received uh, this morning. There were two events that are planned for this week as of Monday at 12. This one was uh, actually sent at 12.01 a.m. Um, the IT Lunch and Learn that's on the 30th. 
there's the category, the description, and the location. And then the Project 42 team meeting is also occurring this week. So that's the email that I received. Whoops. And so if we go back and take a look at the Knowledge Hub, you'll see that in fact uh, this week, the week that starts on the 28th, there were two items, uh, Project 42 team meeting and uh, the IT lunch and learn. And I should point out that those are recurring events. So not only did we send reminders, we were able to figure out that uh, that one thing that's happening is a recurring item, or I should say an instance of a series of events that are recurring. And that one hadn't been modified, so it doesn't exist as its own event in the SharePoint Content Database. But the Alert Plus is able to figure it out that it's its own thing and include it in our alert. So that's the way that you can better manage your SharePoint alerts by displaying them in this Calendar Plus web part, by aggregating all the events using the Auto Discover feature of our list rollup so that even new things show up here without anybody making any changes to this page. And then finally, by configuring an alert to remind people that those things are coming up. So in case they don't log into SharePoint, they'll still know about them. And I should mention uh, last that everything that I've shown you here is configured through the browser. You don't need any special coding um, to create this solution. This is just three web parts configured through your browser.